Hi, today I wear red for one of the most dangerous forms of LS Danlos syndrome, the vascular type. The EDS causes greater damage to blood vessels and organs compared to hypermobile EDS. Complications for the EDS include, for example, aneurysm, ruptures of artery or organs. Symptoms of VDS also include a variety of symptoms, including frequent injuries and bruising, and pneumothoraxes. Vascular EDS can be diagnosed based on genetic testing, looking for variation in the COL1A1 and COL3A1 genes. Vascular EDS, in addition to the symptoms mentioned earlier, can sometimes be suspected by doctors familiar with this disease based on the face of the EDSs, who generally have particular characteristics such as a thin nose, prominent eyes, the lips and the drops shaped dimp under the nose thin, the earlobes attached to the face or even malformation of the jaw. The prevalence of this form of EDS is between 1 in 50,000 and 1 in 200,000 people. As with other forms of EDS, it is suspected that although rare, VIV, the EDS is underdiagnosed. This form of ls syndrome is life-threatening with an average life expectancy of 51 years old. However, early diagnosis and medical treatment can greatly improve this prognosis. If you want to check for some VEDS content, you can find Ryder from Transathlete Advocate. And if you know other people with that form of VEDS, mention them in the comments. I'd love to watch their content. If you made it until the end of this video, comment with a red heart emoji that we send to all people with vascular ls danlos syndrome. In the meantime, I wish you lots of spoons and see you tomorrow for the next ls danlos syndrome awareness video. Bye!